All right, hello there, and welcome to um, Tangent Lines. I'm going to show you how to do the tangent lines for the IB Moving Plots Lab. Okay, um, and so the tangent lines are going to be on this graph right here. Oops, this guy. Okay, we're going to put some tangent lines there. I'm going to put one here at one second. And it always helps to know where you're putting the tangent line. Uh, I'm going to also put one at two seconds, just because I can, right? It always helps also to make a dot where you're putting the tangent line, and then the other thing that really helps a lot is to make the tangent line an actual tangent line. So see how it looks kind of symmetrical on both sides? It looks like this ruler might have the same slope as the graph itself. And then I'm going to draw a giant line all the way across there. Because I'm going to use these endpoints to calculate the slope, like that. Okay. So the first step is to just read what those endpoints are. This one is zero over, and oh good golly, what is that? Is that about minus thirty? I'm so bad at reading that. Okay. And then this one is all the way over. It's three over. I'm reading this three over. And it looks to be just shy of one, I'm going to say it's 146, maybe. I don't know. Up. All right, so I'm just going to do that. And then I, of course, have a calculator right next to me. Grab that calculator. There it is. Okay. And now I'm going to calculate the slope. And the formula I'm going to use for line A is... Um, y minus y over x minus x, right? So the slope A is going to be 146 minus negative 30. One, 146 minus negative 30 over 3 minus 0. I can calculate that. Clear. 146. Whoops. Got to use parentheses. One, I'm having a hard time here. 146 minus a negative. I said that was 30. I don't know what it is. Okay. Divided by 3 minus 0. And I get 58.7, roughly, right? Right, and, and the slope of a position graph is velocity. So that's why I'm labeling it centimeters per second, because this is, of course, centimeters, and these are seconds there, right? So it's rise over run. Notice that I was tangent at one second, right? So now what we're going to do, and this is very clever, is we're going to look at one second. At one second, this is the velocity column right there, and one second... What was my velocity? Well, it was 52, 57, 63. Yeah? Okay, so here's my slope. So I'm going to write a little sentence. Uh, the slope of the tangent at this point was 58.7. This is in the ballpark as these slopes here range from 52 to 63 or something like that little sentence comparing that. I know it's it's hard to read that writing on the thing, but I actually did write you know, very good handwriting there. You know. Okay, And then, of course, now we need to also do a, a tangent line at two seconds, so let's draw that tangent line. Doesn't that look like right? That looks good, doesn't it? Maybe a little more like that. I don't know. And, of course, you're going to be a little bit off because this is by hand, right? That's a beautiful tangent line. I'm going to read this point and this point. So this point is, oh dear, well, it's about halfway in between, isn't it? So it's like 2.75 over and 200 up. And the 200 I'm getting from there. I'm hitting this line. I'm all the way up at 200, right? X and Y. This one looks to be just a little bit more than, so what is that, point, five, you know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, there's five, so what is that, about 
0.52 over and negative 50 up. If your axis goes to zero, it might be easier for you to do your graph, but I'm getting the negative 50 from right there. So use the, you know, use the boundaries of your plot frame. And now this slope, I'm going to call this line B. Okay, slope B is equal to the rise over the run. So what is that? 200 minus a minus 50, right? The rise is all 250, right? And the run is 2.75 minus 0.52. Yeah. So that is, uh, I'm just going to type 250. No, no, no. 200 minus a negative 50 divided by 2.75 minus 0 0.52. That. And this is 112 centimeters per second. And so again, you're supposed to compare that to the velocity in the table two seconds. Oh my gosh, look how good we are, right? Okay, I'm circling three of them because, you know, really where the line is tangent, it's pretty hard to tell. I thought I was tangent at two seconds. I'm pretty close, right? The slope of my, so you write a little sentence here, the slope of my tangent line at this point was, um, what was it? 112 centimeters per second. Here it is at two seconds. It is 110. That's pretty darn close. You know, kind of watch your language there, but there it is. Uh, I hope that answers your questions on how to uh, do tangents.